if it's from the beginning, it's, it will be better. Okay, uh, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, first of all, thank you for the organizers, thank you for Lean and Ria, because uh, considering that my topic is important, they invited me again to talk uh, about uh, health and security. Uh, I know some friends uh, watching me very careful to see if I'm saying something else from my uh, last presentation here. Uh, but I'm sure them that uh, the, the things are uh, changing in this matter and uh, uh, we are looking uh, very careful about uh, health and working, in, in working conditions because it's important from a lot of parts, a lot of shareholders as uh, we are uh, uh, usually name the, those parts interested. So, my presentation for today, it's about work. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to, uh, to give an answer to the question if the work is a pleasure, a necessity, or a drama. Uh, maybe it looks strange, this title, but uh, you will see it's not a joke. Uh, I'm terribly sorry because I have to spoil your dreaming mood after the violin uh, concerto, which was amazed from my part, also a big hand. So, we are going to talk about work, uh, about health and safety at work, and about uh, something we are taking care, uh, we are concerning how we protect this kind of, uh, uh, of topic, of uh, reality of our uh, life. To start with the work, I tried to get to find some so-called definitions. What it means work? We are working every day, we are doing some, something uh, useful, but the, let's say, theoreticians says that work is physical or mental effort directed towards doing or making something. Uh, paid employment, sometimes, at a job or a trade, occupation or profession, a duty, task, or undertaking, something done, made as a result of effort or ever, a work of art, materials, or task on which we expend effort or exertion. The time, how we worked together uh, before, in, let's say in the beginning of what we are counting like, let's say, uh, what we are named now working in co with contracts, somebody want to, to, to make some money and go to, to, to do a work. We can see that pictures suggesting us that uh, firstly, we work very hard. We did a physical work mainly. Uh, Sometimes with no limits of working in time. We remember the end of the 19th century when the people start to talk about eight hours working day, how many days per week. Uh, low age workers and even children. I remember countries in which uh, the people explained me that uh, for example, the, 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 the girls uh, went to, to work in the year, uh, early years, and uh, after uh, the marriage, they, they left the work and stay home with the children, growing children. So uh, it was a, a specificity of that times. Poor working conditions. Nobody paid too much attention at that time. Uh, 
and which condition, uh, where we are eating, uh, if we are eating, uh, what about our safety and the work, uh, and because there's a lot of uh, working accidents. Early and deep health problems. Uh, because of the work and because of the, the, the hard uh, the work, physical work, uh, the, the workers done at that moment, uh, very early uh, they had uh, professional disease and uh, they had uh, to be in a pension or uh, be retreated because they are not, uh, were not able to, to work uh, longer. Usually one wage per family was enough. So this it means that uh, the, the, the work was well paid for that moment. Uh, so it was no need, uh, like it is in our days, to, 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 to have the both members of the, the family uh, working. Uh, no insurances for accidents or for uh, ill periods. And uh, no defension of the workers' rights. So what we are calling now, and uh, we are knowing uh, like professional uh, uh, associations uh, or uh, trade unions, uh, was, uh, were no too, main, too much developed at that time. So the, the characteristic of that period was a very limited role of the state, a very limited role of the, let's say, national community. Uh, the times are changed. We can see different uh, clouds, <laughs> same landscape, uh, with not only clouds changed, but the conditions change also. And uh, we are discovering that we are working more, and, uh, more with the brain, uh, not so much physical work. Uh, we find now that we have a limited time of working, becoming less and less. Uh, we start with 48 hours per week, and uh, later uh, we found 40, 40 hours per week, uh, 35, 30 hours per week. Uh, no more children labor, with some exception, uh, and we can talk uh, about. Uh, better working conditions, not optimum, but better working conditions. Uh, other health problems, different other, uh, health problems. Uh, only one wage per family become not enough. And this was because uh, the, the amounts to be used in the day-to-day uh, work uh, increased, and uh, because uh, let's say the temptations, the the, the use for the money, money, it's uh, are becoming uh, more various, and uh, we need more money. Uh, insurances. Uh, this it means accidents or ill covered, and the uh, organization defending the employer rights are becoming effective and more actively. So this period, it's uh, the period in which the state become important and become important because the regulation, the, the laws, uh, which becoming uh, uh, in force uh, uh, little by little. We will talk about this a little bit later. And again, changements uh, coming in our days. Uh, we found new concepts. We found that uh, we can have a, a flexible uh, working time. Uh, we discovered that we can uh, uh, work uh, in different places in the same time. We discovered that we can move all over Europe, for example, to find a job and uh, we look for, for better jobs. Uh, from five years now, uh, we are uh, facing the crisis. And uh, a lot of, let's say, bad things happen to us because of the crisis. Uh, for example, in Romania, 
four years ago, uh, in one summer day, uh, the, uh, the authorities uh, just announced that the, the wages in the administration are cut it beginning to, to the next week with 25%. Uh, but only, not only the wages, all the, the incentives complementary to the wage were reduced, so uh, a person working same time discovered one month later that uh, he got only half of the, 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 the amount of money earned before. So this, this is a drama. And Five years later, we are, we are still asking why. And a lot of examples of bad practices undertaking in the name of crisis. Uh, a lot of psychosocial risks, and we are going to talk about this because this is the you know the, the 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 specific of our our years, our period. Youth unemployment. We are hearing about, I don't know, 30 percent of uh, youth unemployment in some states. Uh, we are lucky in Romania. We are happy that we have only 23. Uh, poor and vulnerable work. This it means that if you went to, the, to a job previously, you earn enough money to keep your family, to, 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 to hope for a development. Now, it's very often that you are working and you are not getting enough money to, to, for your day-to-day -day life. And this is poor work. It's vulnerable work because very suddenly your company, your plant, your uh, working place, it's vanishing. I, we had a, a, a workshop yesterday or in the forum we discussed about the situation in Romania when the Nokia, maybe some of you had uh, Nokia GSMs came in Romania and they left Germany in the middle of a huge scandal because they got subsidies and help from the uh, authorities and they left, I don't know, 3,000 uh, uh, workers uh, for moving in Romania, why? Because in Romania, the wages are lower than in Germany. So the profit could be bigger. So the prices for the consumers could go a little bit down. And uh, it was like a, a dream for our region because uh, they, they intended to 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 build a, a plant near Cluj, near my city. Uh, and the estimation was that uh, more than 15,000 uh, jobs will be created. Only 5,000 for the Romanian and 10,000 for other Eastern countries. Four years later, okay, it, of course, they, they got subsidies from the uh, Romanian uh, authorities and four years later, they left, leaving almost 2,000 workers in the unemployment. So the, the work is vulnerable. You are not sure of what you are going to do next month, next year. It is the global challenge. Uh, we are living with the fear that I had some friends in the, the, the garments industry and the textile, and they are living with the, 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 the nightmare that the ship with the Chinese products are going to come in Europe. 
and breaking down their market and putting them in the unemployment and forcing them to, 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 to close everything. And also a very strong uh, voice from the, the, the organizations defending the employees' rights are, let's say, the profile of this period, where we have standards and regulations above the national level, the worldwide. And we will talk about the International Labour Organization a little bit later. We are changing the, the subject and uh, we are going to health and security at, uh, and uh, safety at work. Here, the picture was in shadow, so the resolution is not quite optimal. Uh, a lot of words. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's the beamer, not the laptop. The laptop, it's okay. But here, uh, it was, this 8 is coming from the EU 27. Now we are EU 28, starting with 1st of July. And a lot of words uh, about uh, health and security, which is a major problem for the European Union. A lot of uh, undertakings, a lot of activities on this uh, direction. We are passing, you have to believe me. Uh, why it's important health and security and safety at work? Because we are looking for productivity for ourselves, for organizations, and for the investments. Because the society is more and more looking for costs for health care system, for pension insurance system, and we need to keep our work capacity as long as possible. We are learning every day from the newspapers, from the media, that the, the deadline, the, the term for the uh, retreating for the pensions is becoming more and more f uh, far. We start at 60, 58, 60, 65, 67, and we are talking about 70. They are, let's say, trying to, to see what the people are saying about. Why? Because the, the, the pension system does have not enough money to, 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 to pay what is, what is happening. Uh, a lot of, let's say, problems in our days. The working time, and here we have, of course, the regulation that maximum time to work in a, in a day is eight hours. But it's not the case in every case. High level of noise on the street, on the houses, and the workplace. Pesticide consumption. It's every day uh, we are learning, we are reading in the media that uh, our food is uh, contaminated. Uh, we are eating, I don't know what uh, kind of, uh, of uh, products. Heavy loads. Exposure to electromagnetic fields. This, this it means to be the, 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 the reason for the disease in the next period. Nobody knows what it means for our body, the, let's say, uh, framework, the intensive framework of the, uh, the electromagnetic fields we are living each day. This Wi-Fi, others, the, the GSMs, everything, the television. Musculoskeletal disorders, stress, and psychosocial risk, and about this we are going to, to go deeper. Some, let's say, 
ideas leading that, uh, to the conclusion that the psychosocial hazards and their associated risks become a key challenge in Europe. We can see here 28% of the EU workers reported exposure affecting mental well-being, and we are talking about 55 million workers. How many countries we have to put together to got 55 million workers? 14% 40, of the person with a work-related health problem experienced stress, depression, or anxiety as the main health problem. <coughs> One of ten, more than one of ten among us. Uh, here are some reasons for this psychosocial disease. We can see here precarious contracts in the context of an unstable labor market. Sounds familiar. Increased workers' vulnerability in the context of globalization. New forms of employment contracts. Feeling of job insecurity. Lean production and outsourcing. Risk for aging workforce, long working hours, work intensification, poor work-life balance. These all are reasons most important emerging psychosocial hazards. And what it means, a definition taken from Cox and Griffiths, adapted. And again, Example of condition defining hazards. Lack of variety, fragmented, or meaningless work under use of skills. One example. Work overload or underload, machine pacing, high levels of time pressure, continually subject to, the, to deadlines. Shift working, night shift, inflexible work schedules, unpredictable hours, long or unsociable hours. We talked in our workshop this morning about uh, kindergarten, about nursery for, for very uh, young children in Portugal, having the night shift. So if you are working during the night, you leave your young children, your infant in these uh, nurseries to allow you to work. What life it is this? In, and how long you can do this? This is the, the important question. Inadequate equipment availability, suitability or maintenance, poor environmental conditions such as lack of space, poor lightning, excessive noise. Very interesting here, career stagnation and uncertainty, under promotion or over promotion, poor pay, job insecurity, low social value to work. So we are Recognizing our day's environment, social, professional environment. For these reasons, we can get physical or mental disorders. Not a complete list, but some also very well known situation, neck and back pain, cardiovascular disease, mood, anxiety, anxiety, drug use, eating disorders, sleep disorders, and some 
interesting conclusion I found. A poor psychosocial work environment is not only detrimental to workers' physical and health and, saf and safety, but also costly to, to individuals, employers, and the society as whole. What about costs? Because usually we are talking in terms of money. There are costs for everybody. For us, like individuals, it's a decrease of our income and some additional costs regarding our medical situation, evaluation, improvement, treatments in the hospital, and so on. For the employers, if we are not going to work, they have to replace us. We, sometimes we have to leave earlier the, the job. Uh, sometimes they have to face the insurances demands and for this they could be in court and have supplementary costs. Damage to the equipment and production resulting from accidents and mistakes, loss of public goodwill and reputation. For society, the medical care system Subsidies for medicine, hospitalization, treatments or rehabilitation, subventions for sickness, absenteeism, and premature retirement. We have to manage this situation, as usually. And even we are working alone, because sometimes we are thinking that as we are, let's say, independent working person, this is not affecting us. This is only for those working in the factories, working in the organizations, having problem. But very often we face the same problem. How we are managing this? Firstly, we have to be conscient what is happening, why we have problems, we, where is the spring of our, let's say, medical health problems. Then to, 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 to think, to, to, to make an assessment, yes, to identify the hazards, to assess, to identify the, 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 the risk factors, to see what we have to change, to do this changement, and to, okay, to, 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 to make a plan and to do this changement, and then to evaluate how it's going after. Another chapter in regard to health and, and security at the workplace, it's about the concerns and protections. protection. What was done, what we have to done to do in this regard? Uh, we can see that a lot of legislation, a lot of concerns were t was taken uh, since now, as the problem is very serious from all the, the, the points of view. Firstly, it's about us. And this is my deep believing that it's our choice to do or not to do something in this way. I heard workers from the building of the high uh, uh, 
the electricity lines, working in the the the, uh, the heights of that uh, of the pillars, and uh, climbing the pillars under the, the the alcohol influence. Of course, they they were prepared, they were trained, and they signed that it's not allowed to do this. But they decided, conscient or unconscious, but most probably conscient, to, to climb that pillars, I don't know, 100 meters or, or more, with, under the alcoholic. Of course, the, the accidents can occur any time. I saw a lot of situation in which the, the companies give some uh, safety equipment to the workers, and they didn't wear this equipment, saying, okay, the noise is it's acceptable, we will manage this. And after two or three years of working in that place, they, 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 they get deaf. So it's very important to, to, to be conscious that we, decide, we are deciding for us what is going to, to happen. There are, there are others. We are not alone. We are in a, let's say, community, in a communities. And for example, the employer make it enforce rules at the workplace. Trainings, inspections. This is not because he want, let's say, necessary. This very often is because the, the legislation is demanding. Organization, trade unions, let's say, simple collective, they are bargaining collective agreements, they have health and security delegates, they are doing the social dialogue, talking about the problems, putting on the table in the front of the, the, the employer what problems the, 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 the workers have and uh, trying to find solution. I said that the European Union has a lot of achievements in this matter. And uh, I took from the Employment, Social Affairs and Inclusion website of the European Union, European Commission, the sectoral social dialogue for life performance, where the, the artists are, let's say, straight involved. Employment organizations, employers' organization, where, let's say, self-employed persons or uh, artists independent could join. And they have a very interesting agenda, of course, established by the partners, as is in the social dialogue. And you can, we can found focus areas for this. This uh, sectoral social dialogue, and among other interesting topics, we can find health and security risk assessment and risk prevention. Mobility of workers, very important for this area, public funding. And I choose, I picked one of the last meeting of this sectoral committee to give you an example of what is discussing. <coughs> and I found very important to, to, to present you this uh, this uh, activity, because from here, a lot of regulation, from here, a lot of future trends in the legislation of your uh, profession are coming. And the, the, the framework, it set it as everybody who is concerned can say a word express their complaint or satisfaction or try to change something. It is the, 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 the frame. It is the, op there are opportunities. It's up to us to use these opportunities. What achievements of this committee? 
about which I spoke. We can say we can see here some uh, statements from 2009 until 2011. And we are going further. We, we, we talk about what we can do. We, are, we talked about what others are doing. And now we are talking about the law. The law which be followed. And the law which give us the limits under where we have to act. And the law is coming for us Europeans from two directions the European Union directives, <coughs> and the International Labour Organization Occupational Safety and Health Conventions. <coughs> the European Union has, let's say, four levels of intervention. Is the European Union Treaty? It's mentioned there in our, let's say, Carta, in our fundamental basic paper, health and security. As I said, directives, recommendations, and also an important body watching every time, watching all the time about the matter in Europe. The European Treaty is the Article 114 <coughs> mentioning this matter. A lot of directives, safety at work directives, workplaces, work equipment, noise, vibration, working time, artificial optical radiation, deeply display screen equipment, etc., etc. Then we have to, to, to talk about the European Agency for Safety and Health at Work, the Bilbao Agency, as it's known commonly. ILO, Standards, Code of Practice, Guidelines, Recommendations. For these reasons, I, I put that profile for this for our living period, worldwide standards and laws, because these standards has to be applied in every country. <clears throat> A long list here, here also, occupational cancer convention, chemicals, a lot of agriculture, a lot of, of topics. And these topics, or these conventions, are ratified, let's say, in different uh, numbers for each country. We can see here, I, I took Germany, Netherlands, Romania, Italy, uh, two times. <laughs> now, here, uh, here some other countries should be. Uh, but what is it's, it, it's important for us, like European Union, it's important that all the fundamental conventions are ratified, are enforced in our countries, and the, only the, the technical conventions are in their way. 70 from 177 in Germany, 94 from also 177 in Netherlands. Uh, in Romania, 43, we, we start a little bit later, and we have to, to think a little bit more. We have to push through our organizations, through the social dialogue, through the <coughs> trade unions, that, and the, the, the local authorities, the national authorities, to adopt more and more from these, uh, from these uh, conventions. And some conclusions. First of all, work is a pleasure. And the quote of Confucius, which is marvelous. Choose a job you love, and you will never 
have to work a day in your life. <coughs> work a necessity. We have to work to live. Maybe to express our personal talents and ambition. Maybe to act as a part of the community. And no, uh, why not to give a fulfillment for its God who calls each man to a particular task in life. <clears throat> and work is a drama. And I said maybe it sounds awful. But you have to, to read careful these, these numbers. Each 15 seconds, somebody is dying because work-related reasons. It, every 15 seconds, 160 workers have a work-related accident. 15 seconds. Every day, 5,300 people die as a result of occupational accidents or or related disease. It's tremendous. And it's in our world, in our days. And some good practices in time management. Yes, eight to noon sleep, 12 o'clock lunch, 1 o'clock to 4 sleep, and then prepare. No stress, not too much. Here it's the task management. As you can see, when I, I found this picture, Firstly, I saw that it's about Romania, but it's not about. <laughs> but we are very good in taking this, benchmarking this practice. And uh, in the working conditions, yes, this is high uh, technical equipment, making bus, the fire, and the worker inside. And the other one in line, waiting to do the same thing. OK, question and remarks. I understand from Geoffrey that it will be a forum just after. And uh, I thank you for your passion. Thank you. Thank you.